thank you for choosing a holiday boat trip in Hungary. The operation and maneuvering of the holiday boat is easy to learn. We have already presented some details of the navigation regulations in our previous video, but a certain level of local knowledge is also necessary for the trouble-free boating trip. You need to learn the hydrographic features of the area that can be explored by holiday boats, the mooring facilities, and the specific information required for safe boating. The holiday boat team of the Hungarian shipping company, Mahart, welcomes you on board. Holiday boats do not require a license to be operated as they are subject to the following safety restrictions. They can only operate on designated water areas. They can only be used during the day and are only allowed to lay anchor in the case of emergency. These restrictions apply to all users of holiday boats, even to persons with a valid boating license for inland waters. Remember that in Hungary, there is a zero tolerance for alcohol consumption, even on water. According to the current regulations, holiday boats can use the section of the Tiza River between river kilometers 404 and 592, Lake Tiza and the waterway section between the river kilometers 0 and 51 on River Bodrog. Our base in Kiskor is river kilometer 404 of the Tiza. From here you can comfortably sail to Tiza Lock, up to river kilometer 518 in one week including the Abadi and Saruti basins of Lake Tiza, which can be navigated by holiday boats. During a week-long holiday, you can set off in three directions from our location in Tokai. On the Tiza River from River Kilometer 542 to Tiza Lock, traveling downstream to River Kilometer 518, or upstream to Vasnarosnameni with the turn at Dombrad at River Kilometer 592 and you will also have time to explore the Bodrog River from its confluence at the Tiza River in a length of 51 river kilometers from Tokai to the country border. If the passage is allowed at the lock of the hydroelectric power plant in Tiza Lock, a one-way trip between the locations of Kiskor and Tokai is also possible. River Tiza is an international navigation route, yet commercial traffic is rare. Occasionally, it is possible to encounter tugboats transporting goods and larger excursion boats, but it is mainly anglers, canoeists, jet skiers, and small motorized boats pulling water sports equipment that can be seen in the water areas designated for holiday boating, including Lake Tiza and River Bodrog. Along with the riverbanks, there are pontoons, fishing boats, floating houses, and harbors. There is no speed limit for the holiday boats, but the mentioned objects are to be approached with appropriate care, and when passing, the speed of the boat must be reduced in order to avoid making waves that can endanger others while maintaining maneuverability. On the Tiza and Bodrog rivers, you will be traveling in the main branch of the river where there is a current. At normal water level, the current is very slow, and on the Tiza, you also need to consider the backwater effect of the hydroelectric power plant. The average speed of the Tiza is 1 to 5 km per hour, while that of the Bodrog is between 1 and 1.5 km per hour. The rivers flow from north to south. The journey and traveling times should always be planned by taking into account whether the trip is in the flow direction or against it. Upstream, an average travel speed of 8 to 10 km per hour is to be calculated with, while downstream, it can be as high as 13 km per hour. There may be large pieces of wood and other objects floating on the river, which might be drifting close together. You should always be alert and watch the water in front of the boat and avoid traveling directly in the streamline. This will greatly reduce the risk of hitting flotsam. However, if you still have to cross the path of the drifting objects, you should switch the throttle to idle while doing so. This will prevent the boat propeller from picking up anything or taking a hit. At the river's edge, there may also be fallen trees and entangled logs, only a small portion of which may protrude above the water's surface. They can cause damages to the boat too. You should always keep to the right side, halfway between the middle of the riverbed and the bank. The exception is the upper Tiza region above Tokai, where it is best to always take the outer curve in the river bends to avoid the sediment banks in the inner curve. 
In a bend, the current is actually stronger at the outer edge, and the water depth is also greater there. At the inner edge of the bend, the current is slower, and banks can form there too. Although the River Tiza has water depths of 20 meters, it is possible to strand on the sandbanks formed in the inner curves from sediment. If you run aground, it is not allowed to leave the holiday boat. In fact, next to such banks, the river on the side of the current line can deepen very steeply and have a strong current. Notify the departure location immediately. Call our dispatcher service and ask for help. When navigating, on one side you must be careful because of the sandbanks, while the other side can be risky due to the stone reinforcement of the riverbed built to protect the river bank. Furthermore, in the rivers there are artificial rock dams and underwater piles of stones in order to direct the water and narrow the riverbed. Maps and navigation applications warn about them, but also the signs on the shore and the buoys in the water indicate them, and they are to be avoided by all means. The edge of the waterways bordered with buoys is marked with red buoys on the right and green buoys on the left when going downstream, when traveling in the direction of the current. When you arrive at such places, you should navigate exclusively between these marks. You should plan your trip every day before departure and take into account the possible obstacles for boating on the route. In the rivers, it is forbidden to swim in the streamline. In the navigation channel, within 100 meters of floating structures, buoys, bridges, ferries, and harbors, as well as within 300 meters of the power plants, in border waters, and in inner city areas, with the exception of designated recreational places and also anywhere marked by a prohibition sign. However, at designated swimming places, if there is no prohibition sign, you can also swim in the rivers both from a boat and from the shore. As an alternative, we also recommend the beaches and thermal spas in the region. The strong winds of sudden summer storms, the reduced visibility due to the pouring rain, and the possible lightning strikes can be dangerous for holiday boaters. You should moor before the storm arrives. If you are surprised by the storm while underway, the holiday boat can be safely navigated from the internal cockpit. Switch on the boat's navigation lights and headlights in limited visibility conditions. Run the windscreen wiper and the windscreen heater. The warnings of the National Meteorological Service must be taken into consideration. In case of a first-level weather warning, yellow, you do not have to pull into the harbor yet, but be prepared to do so. Be aware of the possible places to dock on the route so that you can always head for one. The second-level weather warning, orange, implies the presence of potential danger, and therefore you should moor as soon as possible. In case of a third level warning, red, you must moor immediately and do not leave the landing place. In open areas, the strong wind and the resulting waves can make it difficult to stay on course. In a storm, boating on the lake may prove partially difficult. There are storm forecasting and weather warning services at five locations on Lake Tiza. In the case of the first level weather warning, a yellow light flashes 45 times per minute to warn of strong or stormy winds between 40 and 60 km per hour. Even in the case of the first stage weather warning, you should moor as quickly as possible. It is forbidden to swim more than 500 meters away from the shore. In the case of the second stage weather warning, the yellow light flashes 90 times per minute for winds above 60 km per hour, announcing the arrival of a storm within a short period of time. In the event of a second stage weather warning, boating and swimming are prohibited. Even in ordinary weather conditions and at normal water levels, special caution is required when ferries, bridges, or locks cross the navigation channel. When being near such objects, you'll be warned by boards and signs in accordance with the regulations of the inland navigation rules. Ferries operate between the two banks of the Tiza and Badra rivers, from sunrise to sunset, either continuously or occasionally. In the case of ferries with low running cables, the cable runs along the bottom of the riverbed and this poses a hazard to boats immediately in front and 50 meters behind the ferry. 
In the case of upper cable ferries, the cable runs over the water surface between the two riverbanks, so that the ferry operator has to let it down first, and only then can boats pass through safely. The day signal of ferries is a green ball. On a moving ferry, the additional day signal is the flashing yellow light. From the holiday boat, a long sound signal must be given by using the horn. This announces the arrival and the intention to pass. The four second long sound signal must be given at the relevant sign. If there is no such sign, it is to be sounded at a distance of 100 to 200 meters from the ferry, when it is already in sight. If the ferry does not stop after one or two crossings, it is recommended to repeat the sound signal. It can happen that you have to wait because of a large number of vehicles waiting to cross, but it may also be that the personnel did not hear the signal because of the operation noise. You have to wait until the moving ferry, both in case of the lower and upper cable guidance, and also in case of the free-running ferries, has moored and the white flag on board is already standing still, thus giving the signal for a clear navigation channel. If the white flag is being waved by the staff, a technical error has occurred and passage is prohibited. Between Tisa Dab and Tisa Luk, at river kilometer 500 of the Tisa, you have to wait until the opening of the pontoon bridge, which is a structure unique in the whole of Europe. It is used for road traffic, and holiday boats are not able to pass through the permanently available bridge opening. The protocol is the same as in the case of ferries. From the holiday boat, you must give a long sound signal with the boat horn and then wait for the operating staff to disassemble the pontoon bridge manually. The definitive sign for the possibility of safe passage is given with a green flag. The only lock of the water area involved in holiday boat trips is located at River Kilometer 518 on the Tisa, and therefore the knowledge about the use of the lock is necessary. Information about the opening hours of the lock is provided at departure. Both above and below, warning signs on the banks draw attention to the proximity of the hydroelectric power station in Tisa Lock, and remind boats to stop. From the holiday boat, a long sound signal must be given with the horn to announce your arrival. The passage happens in the order of arrival at the waiting area, and is done with the help of the operating staff responsible for opening and closing the lock gates. Larger boats have the right-of-way over holiday boats when crossing the lock. If the lock gates are open with a green light signal, entry is possible. Otherwise, you must wait until instructed. Such instructions can be given in words or by light signals. The meaning of the red light signal is entry prohibited, lock closed. When the green and red lights are on at the same time, entry is still prohibited, but the opening of the lock is already in preparation. When traveling from Kiskor in the direction of Tokai, you may have to pass the lock upstream. After arriving at the lower gate of the lock in the direction of the river, the boat is raised to the upper water level by letting water in. After entering the lock, the boat must dock at the chamber wall. The boat engine must be turned off and the boat is to be held in position with the mooring lines. The boat is not fastened, no knots are made, the lines are only held. While the water is being let in, the lines must be tightened constantly until the boat is raised to the upper water level. After the signal for free passage, the boat can exit the lock. When traveling from Tokai in the direction of Kiskor, you have to pass the lock downstream. After arriving at the top gate of the lock in the direction of the river, the boat is let down to the lower water level by draining the water. After entering the lock, the boat must dock at the chamber wall. The boat engine must be turned off, and the boat is to be held in position with the mooring lines. The boat is not fastened, no knots are made, the lines are only held. While the water is being drained, the lines must be loosened constantly until the boat reaches the lower water level. After the signal for free passage, the boat can exit the lock. Lake Tiza is an artificially created water reservoir, where stumps of harvested trees of the former forests and orchards were flooded with water. Unfortunately, these stumps still hinder free boating and make some basins of Lake Tiza navigable only by a limited extent. 
Of the five basins, three are nature reserves that are closed for boat traffic. Free navigation is allowed only in the Abadi Basin, while the Sarudi Basin can be visited with restrictions because of the sediment banks, tree stumps, and other objects that pose an obstacle for boating. Lake Tiza ranges from Kishore to Tiza Balbona, i.e. from river kilometer 404 to river kilometer 440.5. Its largest extension is 6 kilometers, and the narrowest part is only half a kilometer in width. The average water depth is 1.3 meters. Remember that holiday boats have a draft of 0.85 meters below the water line. Holiday boaters are allowed to cruise only in the water areas indicated on the map and in the navigation application. On Lake Tiza, in both the Abadi and Sarudi basins, it is allowed to have a dip in the water from the boat with the permission of the boat operator. When doing so, however, you should not jump into the water from the boat with a heated body. Use the water ladder on the rear deck of the holiday boat. Swimmers should be watched in a state of readiness for rescue until they are in total safety. Always turn off the boat engine when having a dip from the boat to avoid accidental injury from the boat propeller. Having a dip is only permitted during the day, and not in limited visibility conditions or during the night. It is a boat operator's responsibility to ensure that, in their own interest, children under the age of 14 and non-swimmers wear a life jacket on board the boat at all times, and also in places where there is a risk of falling into the water. Of course, there is no need to wear life jackets inside the holiday boat. We request you not to use the life jackets as beach items. Where lakes and rivers meet, the buoys located as signs at the edge of the navigation channel must be observed. When navigating from still water to moving water, the right edge of the navigation channel is marked with a cylindrical red buoy, while the left edge is marked with a conical green buoy. The holiday boats are allowed to moor at the designated places and harbors at floating pontoons or directly docked to the shore for the night. The Hungarian shipping company Mahart has established 12-meter, 36-meter, and 72-meter long pontoons along the navigation channel at distances of 10 to 20 river kilometers primarily for the holiday boat users. Most of them have electricity and water supply options. These landing places may be used by others as long as no holiday boat arrives. You should always moor in such a way that there is enough room next to the boat for others. There are private harbors where visitors' docking places are available for holiday boats. Some towns, fish bars, and restaurants, and also wineries with wine tastings and offer, have established docking places too. Mooring is the responsibility of the boat operator. Based on the chosen route, our colleagues will provide you with detailed information about the safe mooring and stopping places as well as the currently available infrastructure before departure. If there is anything you do not know, don't hesitate to ask us. If any problems arise or you are in distress, you should immediately notify the base and call the dispatcher service, especially for the safety of the holiday boat users. A continuous dispatcher service has been established which is available 24 hours a day for the holiday boaters. The telephone numbers are given during the handover of the boat. Problems arising outside working hours, which are not critical for the stay on the boat, will be solved during the next day with consideration of the available options. The position of holiday boats is monitored by a tracking system. Both the water rescue service and the water police keep track of the position and movement of the holiday boats. In cases where the safety of the boat or the persons on board, as well as their physical integrity, are in danger, or in other cases where rescue is necessary, always call the emergency number 112 first. The Water Rescue Service, a boat driver, and a paramedic are available at the locations in Kiskor and Tokai from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day with a lifeboat ready to launch. In case of an emergency or an immediate problem, help is on its way to the holiday boat within 30 minutes. Thank you for your attention. We are sure that by following the information and advice received, you will spend a relaxing and unforgettable boating vacation in our region. We are at your service at any time. We wish you a pleasant boating holiday.